In this video, we'll write the atomic orbital diagram for manganese, that's Mn. And the first thing we need to do is write the electron configuration. Then we'll use that to do the atomic orbital diagram. So let's see, manganese, 25, that's the atomic number. That means it has 25 protons. Since it's a neutral atom, like all of the atoms on the periodic table, protons equal electrons. We have 25 electrons for our electron configuration. And manganese is right here on the periodic table. So let's use this pattern to get up here to the 25. We start with the first energy level, that's 1s. We have 1s1, 1s2. Then the second energy level, 2s1, 2s2. Go over to the p, 2p, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. p holds up to 6, so 2p, 6. Then to the third energy level, 3s2, 3p, 6. And then we're down to the fourth energy level, 4s2. Let's give ourselves a little more room. And then we're in the D, we go one, two, three, four, five, three D, five. And if you add all these numbers up, they add up to 25, that's manganese. So now that we have the configuration, the electron configuration, we can write the atomic orbital diagram for manganese. So both of these notations, we're just trying to show where the electrons are around the nucleus of the manganese atom. So you can kind of think of the nucleus as down here, and these are energy levels, kind of like shells, around the nucleus. So we'll go 1s2, we put our two electrons opposite directions, 2s2, and then we get to the 2p6, and we spread them out, and then we pair them up, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, and then the 3d5, we spread them out like this. And we've used all 25 of the electrons. This is the atomic orbital diagram for manganese. Sometimes you'll see it written like this here as well, kind of a horizontal fashion, and it's the same thing. Just written out in a more linear fashion. All of these things are trying to describe where the electron is around the nucleus of the manganese atom. This is Dr. B with the atomic orbital diagram for manganese, MN. Thanks for watching.